Hi, Mr. Richards here. Today we're going to multiply integers. And our real world link is looking at diving or skydiving. Whee! Well, once a parachute is deployed, a skydiver descends at a rate of about 5 meters per second. Where will the skydiver be in relation to where the parachute deployed after 4 seconds? Well, descending is usually represented by a negative integer. What integer should you use to represent the position of the skydiver in relationship or in relation to the parachute's deployment after one second? Well, if we're going five meters per second down, we can use the integer negative five. Now complete the graphic below. What is the skydiver's position after two, three, and four seconds? Well, after two seconds he went down another five, so we're at negative ten and negative fifteen, and another five is negative twenty. Write a multiplication sentence to represent the skydiver's position after five seconds. Well, before we do that, notice we had two times a negative five to get to negative ten. We had three times negative five to get to negative fifteen. And we had four times negative five to get us to negative twenty. So we could probably do five seconds times negative five to get us to negative twenty-five feet. Or negative 25 meters, actually. Make that quick change, and that will be negative 25 meters. Now, when we multiply integers with different signs, our rule here is the product of two integers with different signs is negative. So when we have, in our examples here, 6 times negative 4 is a negative 24. We have 6 groups of negative 4, so that's negative 24. Or Negative 5 times 7, um, 7 groups of negative 5 is negative 35. So we'll have 9 times negative 2 is negative 18. And negative 7 times 4 is negative 28. One thing as we talk about multiplying integers and eventually dividing integers, the rules we use for multiplying and dividing integers are different than the rules we use for adding and subtracting integers. They are two completely set, different sets of rules. Um, that you do not want to mix. When we have the same signs, well, the product of two integers with the same sign is positive. So we have negative 12 times negative 4. Well, negative times a negative is positive 48. Here we have negative 5 squared. Well, what is negative 5 squared? That's negative 5 times negative 5. And negative 5 times negative 5 is simply 25. What happens, though, when we're given three integers, you need to piece the problem through. Negative 7 times negative 5 is a positive 35. But then I have times this negative 3. And 35 times negative 3 is negative 105. Because remember from the previous examples, a positive times a negative is a negative. Mr. Simon's bank automatically deducts four monthly maintenance, a $4 monthly maintenance fee from his savings account. Write a multiplication expression to represent the maintenance fees for one year. Then find the product and explain its meaning. Well, we have $4 a month, but this is getting deducted, so that's a negative 4. Times 12 months in a year is going to equal 48. But wait a minute, it's a negative 48 because a negative times a positive is a negative. And in this context, negative 48 means... Mr. Simon is charged $48 a year in maintenance fees. It gets removed from his account. So in summary here, a positive times a positive or a negative times a negative, those equal positives. Whereas a positive times a negative, or a negative times a positive, different signs will equal a negative. That's it. Good luck.